And now, KITV4 Sports. For the fifth ranked Rainbow Wahine volleyball team tonight, win number 202 all time in WAC play. Dave showed you head coach and company on the regular season title all 14 seasons they've been in conference. Sweep tonight against Nevada. Freshman Emily Hartong, one of her 11 kills, 25, 19, and 18 in the first two sets. Reigning conference player of the year, Kanani Danielson, match high 12 winners. 25 20 the third set score next for the rainbow wahine they hit the road playing at new mexico state on wednesday i hope you're all having a pleasant evening it's football friday meaning it's time to kick off our high school blitz on tap tonight between the ilh and oia combined 10 matchups here on oahu in just a bit we'll be joined live by jamai webster and brandy higa but first Senior night at Moana Lua. Menehone hosting unbeaten Kahuku. Hey, Robert, we saved one for you. Nice one, supporters of the home team cooking up burgers, but the Red Raiders cooking up some trouble. Benetton Funua, that's an INT of Kevin Amaro. Later, Dalin Muti with a sack on Amaro. Kahuku. Rolling early, Evan Moy to Josh Sorensen. 7-0 first quarter. Second quarter, Moy with the pitch to Tyrone Brown. 14-0, final 27-6. Kahuku, 4-0 in conference, 6-0 overall. Menehone, 2-2 two two in league play. Also undefeated in league play, entering tonight's action, Lele Hua, 3-0 in the OIA, 3-1 overall. Mules playing a road game hosted by Radford Rams, 2-1 in conference. Kinds of hype coming into John Vasconcelos Stadium until Lele Hua Stan Merzberg crushed Rams quarterback Micah Ulufale. Momentum swung right back though. Keenan Sadanaga picked off Dorsey Morris and he went down. Absorbed the late hit there, but his brothers of offense had his back. Ulufale this time is going to be looking for his guy. Once they get the ball, it's going to be Zach Tiano Rebelazila. Game was 10 10 at the half. Just pow. Mules won 24-17. Three games scheduled in the ILH tonight, including a doubleheader out at Aloha Stadium. The nightcap matched Damian and Kamehameha, both teams entering this evening at 0-2 in league play. Final from Halava Warriors with one win in ILH play, getting past the Monarchs 28-6. Kamehameha 3-3 three three overall, Damian 0-6. Earlier at Aloha Stadium, game one of the double dip, Pac-5 St. Louis, Wolfpack quarterback Jordan Doy picked in the second quarter by Jordan Contradas of the Crusaders. That led to a quick strike score, Marcus Mariota to Duke Bukowski, covering 59 yards. St. Louis 4-0 in the ILH, Wolfpack 0-3, final score was 35-6. Well, the high school blitz started this afternoon in the ILH. Jacob Iolani, that's a tough TD, putting Punahou ahead of Iolani, 15-0 first quarter. Later in the first, Kyle Tuumalo almost picked off Iolani quarterback Reese Foy. Would have been disastrous. Instead, they kept the Raiders on the field. And at the start of the second quarter, on fourth and 22, Foy found Brett Chrisman for a 28-yard touchdown. Close. But the Buff and Blue held off Iolani 24-19, their first loss in league play. This is Kailua kicking it off at Kaiser tonight. Surfriders enter 3-1 in OIA play. Cougars 0-4, first quarter, no score. Tokahaku Iyaya gave it to Jaron Young, and he was gone. Watch the strictly business shake, and he's out of there. 35-14 final, their 4-1 in league play, Kaiser's. 0-5. Mililani 4-1 overall coming into tonight's matchup with Aea. Zach Poyomo, his second touchdown of the game, covered 49 yards. That made it 19-6 Trojans at the half. But after intermission, Chucky Ka'ahanui of Na'ali. This was his third of second half TD run and gave Aea the lead 27-25. They had trailed 25-6. Late in the fourth, Poyomo, his fourth score of the game, added a fifth with eight seconds to play. Great game. Homecoming win for Mililani, final 38-27. Forward, march. 
K-I-T-B for sports. Oh, stop it, would you? Roosevelt, Ed Castle, Rough Riders. After win one this season, Matthew Lono Holani took Kaipu Pale, seven zip first quarter, and they made it hold. 2015 final, Roosevelt one and four in OIA play. Black Knights are two and two. More from the OIA's Red West Division tonight out in Eva Beach. Campbell held off Capole 26 21. Sabres now two and three in league. Hurricanes drop to one and four. From the OA White, Anui Nui at Nanakuli. Golden Hawks still winless after falling to Nakoa tonight, 2014. Anui Nui approved to 2 and 3 in league play. Nanakuli now 0 and 6. That wraps a busy night of the high school bliss. There's three games on schedule tomorrow night. A couple of unbeatens in OIA White Division, Robert. 4 and 0 Pro City battles Waialua. Yep, and Kaimuki, 5 and 0, meets up winless Kalani. The final pairing has Waipaho at Kala Hill. Both teams 3 and 1 in conference. Jamal, Brandy, thank you, Mark. All right. Now, tomorrow night, UH football team returns to Aloha Stadium, hosting FCS or Division I AA, Charleston Southern. There's one warrior, this guy, senior defensive end Kamalu Umu, who played for the Buccaneers in 2008 before transferring to UH. St. Louis graduate, born on Kauai, been looking forward to this matchup. Of everybody who's playing Saturday, you know Charleston Southern better than anybody in Hawaii. What does this game mean? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, just being there last two seasons ago, uh, playing there, uh, but just having the time to go out there and be a part of that school, I mean, it's good, but now that I get to play them, it's even better. Umu has started all three games for the Warriors this season, making eight tackles, two for a loss of yards with a caused fumble. Definitely want to blow them out. I mean, I don't want to keep this close. Um, and it shouldn't be close if we play our football. They'll fight to the finish, and they, they won't be scared of nobody, and they'll play their hardest. When you transferred out, this game was already scheduled, Hawaii, Charleston Southern. Did, did you know about it? Yeah, I already knew, and I was happy, and I wanted <laughs> that badly. I'm sure you'd be getting what he jacked up and say, boys, this one cannot get away. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everybody's coming to me, teasing me, I mean, everything. Oh, yeah, we're playing the team. and But everybody's, I, I just getting everybody fired up, hopefully myself, too. Warriors are 1-2, Charleston Southern 2-1. Kickoff tomorrow night is set for 